Hey y'all, it's Kit Plays. And Honokami. And we're back to do episode number two, Turnabout Sisters. Once it actually loads. <laughs> oh god, that is so fucking loud. <laughs> I feel bad because now you can't hear it. Well, that's fine. Hmm. I mean, I can't jam out with the awesome music, but I understand. No, it's okay. <laughs> Listen. Listen what music they used. Yeah, they used the orchestrated version. Oh, that is so pretty. For, like, the whole game. Yeah, I remember playing on this on the DS, and that music was great, but oh, this is so nice. Yeah, now it's orchestrated. Mm hmm. I love it. And, and now it goes back on my head. <laughs> Pass uh, around the headset. Load, load, yes. Bring! bring. I don't think I have to read that. You can literally hear it ringing. Oh, beep. <laughs> Hello? This is Maya. Hey, Maya, it's me. Oh, that's Mia. Oh, that's the older sister. Okay. Yeah. Whoops, who, who's, who's being who? What do you want? I, I don't care. <laughs> I, I, I only have dibs on definitely two characters. All right, fine. Hey, man, it's me. Oh, you're going to be... Mia! What's up? You haven't called in a while. Why is that still question mark? So we know that's Mia. Sorry. I've been so busy. How have you been? Well, lonely. And it's all your fault. Nah, I'm just teasing. I've been great. I'm finally getting used to having my own place. That's good to hear. Actually, I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. I know, I know. You want me to hold evidence for you? Sharp as always. There's a lot of buzz about the, the upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe keeping the evidence here. I gotcha. So, what is it this time? It's a clock. A clock? Yeah, it's made to look like the, that statue, the thinker, and it tells you the time. I thought you might like it. You always liked toys. Hey! I'm not a little girl anymore, sis! Now, now, you know I'm only teasing. Ah, I should probably tell you, the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to take the clockwork out. Sorry. I put some papers inside of it instead. Papers? Is that the evidence then? Hmm, well, there's a possibility that it might turn out that way. Yes. Can you come by the office tonight, say nine o'clock, to pick it up? I'll be in a pre I'll be in a pretrial meeting until then. Okay, sis. But I expect dinner, something good. Like burgers! I could really go for a good burger. Okay, okay. We'll hit the usual joint. All right, it's a deal. Okay, sis, see you soon. Yep, I'll be waiting, Maya. Conversation recorded September 5th, 927 AM. I forget what Maya's favorite food actually is, but it's not burgers. Oh, in the in the actual Yeah, in the Japanese one. She asked for something else and I forget what it is. Oh. I have no idea who this is, but now Miss Fay, I'll take what's mine. The papers. I'm sorry, but I can't give you what what I don't have. Miss Fay, you're a poor liar. Why, I see it right over there. That must be the thinker that swallowed those papers. How could you know? <laughs> You're not c cogniferous? I'm not sure. I think that's cogniferous. <laughs> oh, You're not cogniferous of my background. Gathering information is my business, you see. I, I should have been more careful. <laughs> My dear Miss Faye, I'm so very sorry. 
but I am afraid I must ask you for one more thing. Your eternal silence. Farewell, Miss Fay. <gasps> oh, yeah, it's that dude. Yeah. I kind of forgot about I him. I remembered him. God, in the anime, he's so interesting. Red, white, blue. Red, white, blue. In the anime, he's very American. Uh, very American. <laughs> very American. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I'm actually. Been, oh my it's goodness, you, I'm speaking now. Oh, I'm I'm late. Huh? That's strange. Guess the chief left without me. She said her sister was coming over, so we should all go out for dinner. What's that smell? What? Mia! Maybe she's in her office. Uh, where the hell am I supposed to move to? The office? <laughs> I hope it's not the plant. I have to check and see if Mia's okay. Chief! Like, can I not, like, actually look at things? Nope. Oh, okay. Anything in here whatsoever? Not, not, Phoenix not. has a one-track mind right now for very good reasons. I was gonna laugh if he actually commented on that. Oh my God, this painting! Wait, about, what was I doing? <laughs> wow, yeah, yeah, no. Oh, okay. Maybe I guess I can just move. Wait, yeah. can I turn the light on? No, I guess I can't. Okay. How do I? Backspace. There we go. And then move. There we go. Office. Because I'm just in the entryway, foyer, entrance. Yeah. That smell. Blood. <laughs> Sis. Someone's there. Okay. Chief? Chief. Chief? Who are you? <laughs> well, I mean, that's a natural response. Yeah, it's completely understandable. That strange girl dropped out of- dropped out cold. I left her laying on the office sofa. I went back to the chief where she lay under the window. Her body was still warm. Feel it when I held her shoulder. Then all too quickly it began to fade. Until finally she was cold. Chief. Some shards of glass are scattered on the floor. They seem to be th the remains of a light stand. There's a large building right across from the office. The Gatewater Hotel. A nice, luxurious place. It's encrusted with dried blood. How ironic that this became the murder weapon. Again. Chief. It's hard seeing her like this, but if there are any other clues here. She was struck on the head with a blunt object. She probably died instantly. The thinker laying next to her must have been the murder weapon. The thinker added to the court record. Uh, it looks like a statue, but it's actually a clock made by Larry Butts. Okay. There's some glass shards near the chief's body. Must be pieces of the glass light stand light laying broken in the back of the room. Nothing else that seems like a clue here. Hmm? A piece of paper? It must have fallen from Mia's hand. What could it be? What? 
The word is written in blood on the scrap of paper. Maya? Did Mia write this? This piece of paper is a receipt from the department store dated yesterday. I think that's enough snooping around for now. There's never enough snooping around. That's true, there never is enough snooping around. Okay, yeah, you do have to call the police, though. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's uh, probably a good idea. All right, never mind. Oh, I'd better call the police. And find out what that girl was doing here. Um, snooping! Slide? I'm pretty sure there's nothing else I can actually look at. Oh, the chief's chair! A simple, functional design. Feels pretty good to sit in, too. Now is not the time for sitting in a chair. Cue to slide. Cue to slide? Oh. Oh! The Fay and Co. Ledger book. Everything is written in the Chief's ultra neat handwriting. It's a small office, but it makes a good bit of money. That's Charlie! Don't you lie to me! <laughs> <laughs> right, I better call the police. Oh, oops. Huh? That's funny. A few of the screws on the receiver are missing. Looks like someone was halfway through taking it apart. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I now remember who this is. Someone's screaming from outside the window. Oh! Yeah, I now remember who this is. Oh, yeah. I did the wrong voice. <sighs> She's staring right at me. She's holding a phone in her hand. Well, that's convenient, because I'm pretty sure this doesn't work right. Okay. Is anybody smoking? Why do we have this? Does Mia smoke? Uh, you might have clients that smoke? That's true. Can Vin? No? Eh, Booter? Surprisingly, the chief was never good with machines. Uh, but all she used this PC was for email. She picked up the ancient model at some gar garage garbage sale. Sorry. <laughs> garage sale for practice. Well, we know no. how you feel about ancient model of computer. <laughs> No, you know how I feel about garage sales. Oh, God. <laughs> I just clicked through all that and not read it. Okay. Perfectly normal office desk. The chief had a very peculiar policy about office decor. Spend big on stuff the clients use, but keep your own stuff simple. Nice. I mean, yeah. That makes sense. All the chief support document are packed in here. This is where she filed her case records and recent rulings. Okay. Um, I, I don't know. Where where else should I click? I don't know. I guess back out? I, I guess I could go back here. That girl just now, where'd she go? I put her right there on that sofa. Uh-oh. I hope she didn't run on me. Scare me like that! Um, excuse me, but who are you? It's okay. I work here. Maya. Maya Fay. Maya Fay. Maya. So Mia was writing this girl's name. Maybe I should show her the receipt? I never thought there'd be a use for evidence like this outside the courtroom. Why would I do that? <laughs> I'm not going to. I'm just going to talk to her. And not be an asshole. She seems to be in shock. I don't want to disturb her, but I have to know. Um, excuse me. Can you tell me what happened? The room was dark. Sis says. So she was already dead. You and the chief. So you're the chief's sister. I'm her younger sister. And you were here visiting this late at night? Yes. 
she says she wanted me to keep some evidence for her. Evidence? Yes. It, it was that clock. It was the thinker. Um... Please tell me I don't have to actually present it. I do, don't I? Okay. Mm, I'm gonna present this instead. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've never seen that before. Okay. <laughs> um, about the thinker. <gasps> the th thinker. That was... I think this was worse than presenting the piece of paper! Hmm, probably shouldn't have asked her about the murder weapon. <laughs> you think? Okay, let's ask her about this Yeah, okay, let's ask her about a bloody receipt. Yeah, jeez. Before Mia died, she wrote a message with her own blood. She wrote it on the back of this receipt. What? Th that's my name! Why? Why would she write my name? Please, just calm down. Why would Sis write my name? Oh, now I've done it. So, first I present her the murder weapon. I present her bloodied out with the dominus. Your name here! I'm I'm the best lawyer ever! Wee-wee-wee-wee-wee! <laughs> oh, oh yeah, now not only have I made her the cry... It's the, well, I made this person cry. I look like the murderer to that other person. I'm just all sorts of screwed. It's the police! <laughs> sounds like they're coming don't this way. Don't sound so greedy. Oh, don't sound so guilty. <laughs> Freeze! Police! Oh, God. Oh, it's just you. <laughs> oh, God! All right, I'm Detective Dick Gumshoe. See? Gumshoe? A nod name. We received a report from the building across the way, see? We got a person saying they saw a murder. <sighs> Must have been that woman I saw. Anyway, I don't want either of you moving a one inch, okay? Great, just great. May, uh. Wait, she wouldn't have. Nah. Whoa! Excuse me! Eek. Why didn't I take that with me? <laughs> I thought you did. Why you did he have it? You had to present it to her, didn't you? Wait. Yeah, you presented Who it to her. Who the hell did he get it? I don't know! Magic. This word, Maya, here, mean anything to you? Nope! Means absolutely nothing. <laughs> absolutely nothing! Lie like a dog! From episode one. Um, that... That's my name. What? Nani? Nani? <laughs> the victim drew this here note in her own blood, see? With her dying breath, she wrote down the killer's name. How do you know that's her own blood? <laughs> I'm not... Case closed. You're coming down to the precinct, ma'am. What? Mia's younger sister, Maya, was arrested on the spot. That's some shoddy police work there. I was taken in for questioning and didn't get out until the next morning. Oh my god. <laughs> I think their bed's softer than mine. <laughs> my eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. Understandable. I sat around, waiting for, vis for visiting hours to begin at the detention center. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. I'm not quite sure how the detective snuck into my pocket. To get that receipt. That damn receipt? <laughs> I should have ate it. <laughs> oh, no. you need the evidence, though. Yeah, you do. Wow, they have poor Maya locked up like a criminal. Oh. Oh, oh that's you, sorry. It's you, the lawyer. Good morning. Good morning. She looks so tired. attorney? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. It's up to you. Of course I will. Not a chance. <laughs> I'm out! <laughs> ah. uh, I, I don't know how 
how she feels about it, so of course. First things first, I better get her cheered up. Yeah, of course I will. Cheer up! Really? Yeah, bad timing, I know. Whoa, did I say the wrong thing? She looks sadder now. Um, what? what's wrong? You don't think I could do it? No, no one could. Who would believe me? Even you, when you found me in the office, you looked at me like I had done it. I was surprised. Did I look at her like that? You can't really see your own reflection, so... And I mean, it all depends on how she determines how we perceive her. I don't know. Yeah. N no, I never thought. It, it's okay. I understand. And I also heard about you. Heard? <laughs> oh God. Heard what about me? I was talking to my sister on the phone the other day. Today was my junior partner's first time in court. Wow, really? How'd that go? It was quite the scene. Honestly, I was on edge the whole time. It's been a while. Ha! So he crashed and burned? He's a genius. One of those strike fear into the hearts of evil types. The only thing he's lacking is experience. Huh. Sounds like it was fun. Well, I know who to go to if I ever get into trouble now. Before voting. <laughs> That's called foreshadowing. Mm. I don't know, Maya. I think you might want to wait. Give him three more years. And then he'll have his own project. And then I can commit a crime? <laughs> My sister said I could! <laughs> My sister said I could! <laughs> that is, unless you want to be found guilty. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. I, it, it, mm. That's what she said. I'll still win. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> dot, dot, dot. I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult you. You didn't. She did. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's true, I guess. <laughs> but at the same time, I can't just sit by and watch. When I think of a person who did this to me, uh... I know. Okay. Maya! There's something I've been wanting to ask you. Yes? What's with that outfit? Oh, this? This is what all acolytes wear. It's my uniform, you could say. Uh, acolytes? Like people in religious training? What is it you do? Oh, it's nothing strange, really. I'm a spirit medium in training. Yeah, that sounds strange. A spirit medium. It's, I'm pretty sure that qualifies as strange. <clears throat> day of the crime. Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Yes. Let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Evidence? Yes, that clock shaped like the thinker. The one Larry made. How could that have been evidence in a case? Um, right. She said something about that. Hmm. I remember! Do you want to hear it in her own voice? Her own voice? Yes! I'm pretty sure our conversation is on my cell phone. You recorded it? Yeah! I forgot how to delete those things. Uh, first off, so you're an acolyte, uh, or medium in training? That's right. The Faye family, especially the women, have always been very sensitive to the spirit world. Wait a second, you said the Faye family? So, Mia was into this stuff too? Of course! She left the mountain to follow her career, she said. Her powers were first class too. I, I had no idea. Hmm. 
Wait. What? So, you're a real honest-to-goodness spirit medium with ESP and all that. Yes, in training. Well, can't you contact me as spirit then? We can just ask her who killed her. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I'm still in training. I couldn't do something on that level. Hmm. I thought that would be too easy. Yeah. <laughs> There's actually another reason why doing that's actually a bad idea. But oh. in, in this case, it would have been fine because it was her sister. Yep. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. No. So, you say you have a conversation with your sister on your cell phone? Let's hear it. Right! Oh! I just remembered. That detective took my cell phone. Sorry. Oh, right. Of course! Next time I see Detective Gumshoe, I'll ask him for it. I'll write you a note so you don't forget, okay? Sure. Thanks. Conversation I have with my sister. Okay. Mm. Um. Huh? Something the matter? Um. I was wondering. Could I ask you a favor? Huh? This is the address of a famous lawyer. My sister gave me this a long time ago. She said if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. And well, I'm in trouble. Go ask him to represent me. What? I'm chopped liver. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just don't have the experience. Yeah, okay, except. Sure, why not? I'll go ask. Thank you so much. I have no one else to turn to. Now that's kind of chopped liver. <laughs> More chopped liver! <laughs> Say, what about your parents? I just keep saying all the wrong things. Well, you don't know it. I know. Uh, I see. Don't worry. Leave it to me. Thank you. The trial's tomorrow at 10 o'clock. What? Tomorrow? <laughs> tomorrow. Well, what if this guy refuses? They told me that if I don't find one, the state will pick an attorney to defend me. When will that happen? They're giving me until 4 o'clock this afternoon. And visiting hours are almost up. I better hurry. Right. I'll be back. I, I guess I have time for one more question. Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Really quick. Sorry, I know it must be hard. No, it's okay. All I've been doing the last few hours is talking about it. I've kind of gotten used to it. <laughs> Let's see. That morning I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. That's the thinker's clock that Larry made. It practically qualifies as a serial murderer by now. <laughs> so then, when did you arrive at the office? It was right around 9 o'clock. The lights were off and I could smell blood. Why does everyone have the nose of a bloodhound in this game? <laughs> then I found her. My sister. Like, does blood have a very distinct smell? It I mean, actually yeah, does. But I mean, it's fresh blood. It still can have that smell. Okay. A very metallic type of smell. It smells off. Thanks, Maya. I mean, it's not like she bled out or anything. But there was blood encrusted on the murder weapon. And blood drying will, will release a certain amount of... I know, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how much blood was encrusted from the first murder. There was a lot in that one, because we actually see how much, like, is spilling out of her, kind of. Anyway. Away we go! I, I, can I present yeah, anything? Run, run now. Here, run, here, run look, now. look, I have proof that I'm a lawyer. Look at that. Sorry. Oh, yeah, that's Never right. Never seen that before. <laughs> God <laughs> That's useless. All right then. Uh, backspace. Ah. Yeah, that guy. I remember that guy. 
I mean, I could go here. Wait, where did I say I was going? I guess I'd, I guess I'd be going here first. Yeah, because you gotta go talk to the guy. You never looked at your evidence. You never examined your evidence. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Rule number one. According to the receptionist, the big boss is out. <laughs> she couldn't say when he'd be back. Must be hard to keep track of everything when you're a famous lawyer. Not to mention run an office like this. I guess I'll just have to come back later. I'm gonna Are examine the crap examine out of this place. The painting has been bugging me ever since I stepped in here. The oil paint is so thick it practically giving me a stuffed nose. Oof. I'm sure the price is nothing to sneeze at either. For that matter. Expensive potted plant. No idea what kind of plant it is, but it's probably the most expensive one available. No clues here. A table for clients. Hmm. An elegant ebony case, and if I'm not mistaken, that later is made of solid gold. Oh, that sounds like a, a that sounds like a terrible idea. Yeah, because gold is a very soft metal. Yeah. And I don't know what the heat gum. Yeah, like when it melts, it melts. <laughs> Even I, I can I tell someone if... here to get mo got money to burn. I don't know if if a lighter can get hot enough to melt it. But... And the, no, it can't. But I mean, it get soft, soften the metal a little. Like if you're holding it. I don't know. It just seems like a bad idea. Mahogany. Mahogany. A solid mahogany desk. For all those who know DBZ abridged, mahogany. <laughs> oh, I did it from um. Oh God, what's that movie with the survivalists? Ah, uh, the mocking. Is it mocking Jay? Oh, with Cat Loose Everdeen. I forget what it's Hunger called. Hunger Games. Yeah, <laughs> thanks that one. Yeah, she goes mahogany. I love her. She's amazing. The wood's been polished to a deep luster. What's this? Expensive looking mahogany More bookshelves. Mahogany. They like mahogany, mahogany. filled with expensive looking books. Hmm, funny, they don't look like they've ever been read. Uh, <laughs> it's just there for aesthetics. Look at how intelligent I am! You haven't touched a single you, one of those, you have you? You haven't read a damn thing. Not a damn thing. Expensive looking mahogany bookshelves. It's all the same. Well, see, it didn't have a, a check mark through it like it does over here. That's why oh. I clicked on it. Yeah, see, I could, I could actually ah. do this and kind of cheat. Oh, what's this? It's a wall. <laughs> I've noticed it lights up yellow when there's a clue. Wait, it does? Yes, it does. Like, I need to now find something that I haven't looked at now. You eyed the chair. I think I eyed the chair already. Oh, I did. maybe it checked as in as the back of the desk. Oops. Yep. It just goes. Ah. There's no chair here. There's just a. <laughs> there's just a bookshelf. Well, I think I looked at everything and in here now. Carpet. Huh? Carpet. Okay. Probably say like, it. what is that? Persian rug. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> My goodness. I still don't understand why this lawyer is any good. Uh, move. He's famous. I... That's about it. Okay, fair. September six. Bay and Company Law Offices. The office is filled with police papers. Officers. <laughs> what? Hey, you said police oh, papers. Oh, I don't know what the fuck I Oh, shit. Hey, hey, you there. Oh, wait, I think that's probably Gumshoe. Yeah, it is. Ah. Uh, this is a crime scene, pal. No trespassing. Uh, sorry, don't I know you from somewhere? Wait. You're that butts guy, aren't you? Oh, for God. No, no, I'm Phoenix Wright. How can anyone mistake me for Larry? I mean, look at me! I'm much cuter. I'm adorable! I'm adorable! <laughs> <laughs> I guess I got the wrong name, Mr. Wright. Sorry about that. That butts guy, he was a killer. And you're no killer, right? He wasn't. He, he was, was proven innocent. innocent! Um, right. And you are... And you were. You were? And you what? were Detective what? Gumshoe? You were Detective Suede Shoe? Suede Blue Suede Shoe? Blue Suede Shoes? Gumtree? Detective. Oh, who called him Gumtree? There's. I think in the anime, somebody calls him Gumtree, and it really ruffles his feathers. 
Because you can't get gum from a from a tree. Actually, you can get a, like a rubber. You can, and that's the joke. Yeah. Yeah. Because he says, you can't get gum from a gum tree, and then you're just like, you can, though. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's Gumshoe. I remember your name. Um, Gumshoe, wasn't it? Dick Gumshoe? Right! At your service! Hang on, that's Detective Gumshoe to you, pal. Anyway, get the name right. I did. And don't oh. go calling me Dick. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Dick! Get over here! Y yes, sir. B be right there. <laughs> um... <clears throat> You're her lawyer, right, pal? I've got business here. You better get, you... you better do it quick. Oh wait, am I the wrong person? No, 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 no. <sighs> oh, he thinks I'm May's lawyer. Use it to your advantage. Darn right. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait. Oh no! Don't oh. leave! Don't leave. Mia. Uh, about Miss Faye. Do you do an auto? Did you do an autopsy? And did it get changed? <laughs> I think that actually might happen in this one. I don't quite remember if it's this one. Looking at the prosecution. Yeah, the prosecution does things. Mm. As much as we love the prosecution. You, you, you want to know the results, eh? Yeah, you you for a. Tell me what what is it, eh? Hey. No, don't you look at me like that, pal. What with the no duh look? <laughs> it, it, it's no use. She might have been your boss, but that doesn't mean you get any special treatment. But as the defense's lawyer... Wait, what? All I right, have access right. to the, you see can the report. See, you can see the report, but that's all. Uh, okay. Let's see. So she died at 9 p.m. Cause, single blood force trauma. Death was instantaneous. Yep. Okay. Maya. Um... About Maya. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that trial. Oh boy. Sorry, pal, but this one. This one. Blah, but this is one trial you aren't going to win. Why. Why do you say that? The city split prosecution, Edgeworth on the prosecution. <laughs> Edgeworth. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you know what that means. You're be you being a lawyer and all. Edgeworth. <laughs> <laughs> Prosecution Edgeworth? Prosecutor. That's right, pal. Mr. Miles Edgeworth himself. Ah, uh, yeah. Wait. You do know him, don't you? It's weird, because in the DS game, yes, of course you do. In this one... I mean, I don't... I mean, if they still go the same route... Then yes, I yeah. should know exactly who this is. You should. There, there should not be a question here. And I guess click yes. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna go with yeah because uh, I'm better. <laughs> I know him. He's a feared prosecutor. He doesn't feel pain. He doesn't feel remorse. He won't stop until he gets his guilty verdict. Oh, don't go talking about him that way. You make him barely sound human. I think that's what we're going for. <laughs> and I oh, <you> caught on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good job. S still, I'm afraid this pretty much decides the case. I can see why you're a detective. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we we oh look, we, the bird we, squad. <laughs> so Edsworth is on this one. Somebody stop me. <laughs> he hasn't lost a case since he's become a prosecutor at an incredibly young age of twenty. How old is he now? <laughs> Of course, there are rumors of back alley deals and forged evidence. Dun dun dun! <laughs> All I know for sure is that Edgeworth hates crime with an almost abnormal passion. I never imagined I'd be facing him so soon. Alright, well, there goes that. Uh, well, <laughs> boop! Uh, present. I don't know if I should just be handing the you things notes. willy nilly at this point. No. Wait, where's the. Oh, there. Oh, yeah, that's what I want. Thank you. I kind of forgot about that. I was wondering, did you see Maya's cell phone? Oh, that, I have it. Do you think you could give it back? Sure! I mean, wait a second, pal! 
tricky lawyer. Uh oh, he's on to me. <laughs> Tell him straight. Oh, Tell him not, not so, so straight. straight. What? What are you? What am I? I'd like to know my lie before I lie. <laughs> You're never gonna be that lucky. Oh, this is just like Mass Effect. <laughs> well, exactly. Any game we're here. I mean, I might as well just tell it to him. Wait, do I want to let him? You're basically saying I need it as evidence for the court case. Yeah, but is he? But if he's telling it to him straight, does that mean he's also gonna tell him about the recorded message? Well, at that point, if you're gonna present it in court, it already becomes public knowledge, and the prosecution has to be made aware of it. Mind you, I'm thinking of actual. That's court. how our court works. I know. I said I'm actually thinking of real life court, yeah. and not. I mean, th th court. this is why the prosecution just comes out with witnesses I've never heard of and changed autopsies. And changed autopsies. My Call calling calling the stupid thinker statue a statue when it's a clock. Did they actually know it was a clock at the time? Yeah. A-hole! Payne did actually say, I, I I thought it was irrelevant, so I just called it a, uh, uh, what do you say? A statue. Because it looks like one. It honestly doesn't look like a clock. It's a miniature version of a statue, but if it's a clock, it should be there yeah, it as should be part of the evidence. Yeah, it should be written up as a clock. I still love the first pain, episode. Pain, pain, come here. Whack! <laughs> I'll show you some pain. <laughs> I'll tell it to him straight because I like gumshoe. Tell him straight. If I tell him why I ah! want it, there's no way he'll give it to me. Something the matter? Oh, no, it's just, you know, detective. Nope. <laughs> I know nothing, pal. I know nothing? I mean, at least he's honest. All I got now is, uh... Oh, God. I know nothing? That cell phone has a lot of numbers on it, like her boyfriends. Uh, it's a cell phone. They naturally come with a lot of numbers, because that way you can dial multiple phone numbers. Uh, this cell phone holds all a little girl's sweetest and spiciest secrets. That's awkward. They're, you're trying to confuse me. Sorry, pal. I already checked all the numbers in memory. Impressive. You're quite the detective. Uh, huh. Oh, here, you... You can have the phone back. Yeah, you've already checked it. <laughs> Wait, does complimenting him just lets me walk all over him? I don't think so. I'm kind of confused on what just happened. <laughs> you frazzled his brain. I don't know. Oh, no. Suspicious. There weren't any suspicious call records in there, after all. Yeah, so far. He, as far as he can tell, Seems it Seems has... like he didn't notice a recorded conversation. Ah. So he probably, like, text messages and, like, voice messages. Not recorded. recorded conversations. Yeah. Probably because you don't honestly you, think yeah, to you record don't, a call. Yeah, you don't typically do that. Who does that? I don't know. I can't even do that on my phone, and my phone looks upgraded compared to that one. Uh-huh. That, that looks phone. like a Nokia. You could kill somebody with that. Why isn't that the... <laughs> Nokia. It could be the murder weapon for all we know. That is true. <laughs> you got that. Strap. That could have been the blunt object. That's the strap. You could get the nice little whip going on. Oh that yeah, thing. just like like how they warned you about the Wiimotes and don't like accidentally throw them. You put it on the strap. You end up whipping yourself in the arm. See at that point, if that's a Nokia on a strap, that just becomes a mace. <laughs> it's like a flail. <laughs> it's a flail. It becomes a flail. <laughs> oh. I love it. <laughs> Check the cord record to heal the recorded version. Okay. I guess I've asked all the questions I need to. <laughs> you all done, pal? Uh, yes, thank you. I'll be heading out now. Oh, wait! One, One more, th more thing! <laughs> One more thing I wanted to mention to you. I don't suppose you're planning on talking to the witness. Uh, I'm kind of, if I'm her defense attorney, I kind of have to. Anyway, you'd better not. Dude! No influencing the witness with your lawyerly ways, pal. I'm her defense attorney! Wait, wait, I wait, 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 wait. He said witness. Oh, witness! I misunderstood. So it's likely he's talking about booby lady. Booby lady? I don't remember <laughs> her name. I don't remember her oh, name. Oh, I remember her name now. It's April May, isn't it? It's like some stupid little name like that, yeah. Yeah, I think it's April May. Okay, it's not a stupid name, but her character... I just remember her character and me going, I want to slap her. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You, you kind of do eventually. Kind of. Oh my god! 
Come to think of it, I had completely forgotten about her. Uh -huh. I will. I. 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 I won't. But I'm tempted. The witness. Yeah, Miss April May. Good job. You nailed it. Perfect. Beautiful. Done. <laughs> I'm sorry about this, but I can't tell you anything about her. You gave me her name. Shh, don't let him know. <laughs> he can't hear me. <laughs> well, you just told me her name. Miss May, huh? It's okay, Phoenix. I'm just the voice in your head. <laughs> so you sent her home already, then. <laughs> you tried your loyalty tricks on me now. <laughs> Somewhere, Miles is slamming his head into a desk. <laughs> She's not to go outside Aruba till the trial. Oh, thanks <laughs> for telling me exactly where she is. Oh, she's still in the hotel across the way. <laughs> I guess I should know better than to try to get a detective to leak information. <laughs> I'm just gonna go over <laughs> here now. <laughs> oh, you're too fast for me, buddy. Oh, darn. Chucky you got darn. that right, pal. Time to pay a visit to Miss Bay. Laters! Bye! Anyway, can I actually, can I look? I don't, I, I wanna, I wanna actually look. Uh, there it is. Aha, check is out Ooh! Ah! Ooh, I, ah. Like how they, I like how they did that. Yep. I call a while. Actually, there's something I want, want you to hold on to for me again. Oh, this is actually what we saw in the very beginning. Yeah, it is. I need to look like the statue of the thinker. It tells you the time. I should probably tell you the clock isn't talking right now. It's not working? That's so lame. Clock work out. Sorry. Put the papers inside instead of papers. I'll see you tonight at 9, which is when we found the body. Okay. Alright. Okay, time to probably. Can I say anything new to you? No? Okay. Time to go to. I wonder if he's in yet. Is he back yet? I don't know. Uh, apparently nope. not. Okay. Time to go to this place. Room number 303. Hello there, handsome. Um, hi. Smooth, right? <laughs> Real <laughs> smooth. You're the lawyer, aren't you? The detective told me. He said, don't say nothing to that lawyer, pal. <laughs> Memo to self, thank Detective Gunchu for making my job harder. Gee, this is all like something out of a movie. It's all so exciting, I can hardly contain myself. Oh, let me go freshen up so I can look the part of the beautiful eyewitness. I pity the lawyer that has to cross-examine this one. Look in a mirror, buddy. Oh, wait. <laughs> go look in a mirror. Huh. All right, because I know this one will change. Ah, you're right. Oh, man, this makes the game way easier. Actually, go over to the wine glasses. What? That's what I clicked on! Oh, wait, oh, the window! Oh, that's what it wants the window, okay. I was like, there's two glasses! Mutually a sign of company! Typically, yeah. The late summer sunlight streams through the window. There's the fake and company. Is the Fay and Co? Yeah, that can work too. Yeah, the Fay and Co law offices building. Look. There's the Fay and Co law offices building. Of course. Yeah, that, that would be correct because you want to play around the foreign office. You can see the inside of the room pretty clearly from here. I think it would be a little difficult to recognize a face from this distance, though. That might what? Wait, be whoa. in my favor. Table? Hey, two there. What? Now you know. Ah! Jeez. I must examine this table. Is it mahogany? <laughs> a bottle and two glasses are on the table. Somebody must be staying with her. Ah, oh, still seen painting. Wait, should that be still life? Whatever. One of those is hanging on the wall. Nice, Phoenix. 
Or leave the art to Larry. A simple bed. It's been recently made. Nothing eye-catching here. The flowers are fake, as expected. <laughs> I know sunflowers and tulips, but that's about the extent of my floral knowledge. You can't recognize a rose? <laughs> oh! Or a daisy. He's not. Or, he's not romantic at or all. Or a daisy. Or a violet. Or <laughs> look, look. He he admitted he doesn't know the difference. But it's a. Uh, I can understand maybe not identifying like the exact genus of the flower. Maybe not knowing the exact you know where it came from. I can understand that. But you at least can get some form of. Oh, that's a rose. Or oh, that's a orchid. And to be fair, I might not have known what an orchid is. Okay, yes, an orchid, yes, I, that was a bit out I there. mean, I, I know what an orchid is, but my brain's like, yes. but how long have you known what an orchid I is? I mean, there's plenty of times that someone could go, oh, that's an orchid, and it looks nothing like your typical orchid, to, to but be, it is in the orchid family. Yeah, to be fair, I actually thought red tulips were roses. Really? I, I honestly did think that at one point. I just thought they looked different. Like, the pattern was different. I never realized they had a different name. I literally thought almost any red, big, flowery thing was a rose. Just because they were so freaking pretty. Oh. And I just associated to romance with red flower equal <laughs> rose. So I was just like, they're all roses. And then I got into gardening, and then I felt like an idiot. <laughs> I guess I, I never had that issue because I was always around, like, my grandma, my aunts, and they were always into gardening and flowers. Yeah, my uh, grandma's into gardening. My dad also my dad also pointed out some of the flowers to me as well. Because mm. I'd be like, pretty flower! And he'd be like, that's a rose. Oh! Yeah. I mean... In Phoenix's case, he's ignorant till because he he's ignorant. No one's taught him. Okay, okay, okay. In Phoenix's defense, when you go to law school, you really can't focus on anything else but what you're trying to learn. That's true. However, we just recently found out um, all you need to do to become a lawyer is pass the bar exam. You don't actually need any school. I, I know, but usually... I thought some that was. Form of training is helpful. I thought that was so weird. Like it I was, is. I was listening to the radio. They're like, Kim Kardashian might follow, or might follow, and I believe her grandfather's footsteps to become a lawyer. I'm like, oh wow, that's gonna take a while. All she has to do is pass the bar exam. I'm like, she has schooling for this already. You actually don't need schooling. And I'm just like, wait, um, what? <laughs> um, Your Honor, I don't want her defending me. Can I get another lawyer? Thank you. <laughs> I don't know. I think it'd be kind of cool to get defended by her. It would be interesting, her. but at the same time, I'd be going... I'd be worried that the, the the judge wouldn't consider her a lawyer. There would be that problem. The other thing I would be worried about is, now call me whatever you wish, but the Kardashians are usually always wanting to be in front of the camera. If you have a oh. Kardashian defending you, you know the cameras are going to be there. At that point, it's going to be all about her, not about getting you proven innocent. Oh, I see. At that point, I mean, it could I mean, really go back and backstab her if she's legitimately trying to be a lawyer. If she's trying to be a legit lawyer, yeah. it may be difficult to get away from all the family drama. Oh, God, and yeah. And take it seriously. Yeah. I think it's just going to be hard for everybody in general. Oh, yeah. But, oh, yeah. But, yeah, after, after I heard that, I was like, dude, somebody throw me the bar exam. I want to see how hard this is. I'm, with no prior knowledge whatsoever, I want to take this test. Oh, boy. I just, I'd probably look at the legal jargon and go, that's all Greek to me, but I'm going to try to answer to the best of my, my capability. God, there are wizards. They can, <laughs> read, they can read this text, this tome. I can't. This tome full of Latin. This is what this Look, all because I speak Spanish doesn't mean I speak Latin. <laughs> it's a whole nother animal. It's how you feel whenever you look at scienti scientists, like all the science texts. When you look at anything outside of what you understand, you're like, this is a different language. I automatically want to go, you're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> well, the reason why they use Latin is because it's a dead language, and everybody who's learning that scientific field will all say the same word. Yeah, it doesn't change. Right, and I'm like, that's genius! Anyway, back to the video game. Anyway... <laughs> There's a screwdriver stuck in this drawer. I wonder what's inside. Let's take a look. Hey! Hey! What are you doing? No 
no touching. Oh my god, that face. <laughs> ah! <laughs> twitch, twitch, twitch. That's, I don't need to see that. No, thank you. <laughs> oh, bad boy. You really shouldn't pry into other people's rooms now. You wouldn't want to make me upset, would you? Upset? I thought she was going to explode for a second there. I wonder what could be inside the drawer. What'd you say? Do you think you could tell me something? I need you to describe what you observed at the time of the incident. Oh, observed. Incident? You sound just like a lawyer in the movies. I like a man with a big vocabulary. Um... Better not encourage her. <laughs> um, you know that thing that occurred, um, it happened. <laughs> that's, that's more letters. <laughs> the other day, the bad thing. What did you see when it happened? I don't suppose you can tell me about it. Pretty, please? Let me Dream on! If you want to know, you'll just have to come to court tomorrow, Mr. Lawyer. Oh boy. Um, could you... Just who exactly are you? Oh! Mr. Lawyer, are you hitting on me? N n no Hey, I, I just... I'm just doing my job here. <laughs> you know you're cute when you blush. Believe me, this is the first time in my life I've blushed this much. Um. <laughs> right. Can you just tell me what it is you do? Well. No. <laughs> and you had your little hopes up, didn't you? Oh boy. I see there are two glasses on the table. Is someone staying here with you? Observation. You must be one of those famous detectives, like on television. Oh, no, not me. I'm a, just a lawyer. Say, Mr. Big Detective, why don't you go look for clues in the garbage, hmm? Miss May doesn't like no noisy little lawyers. <laughs> oh, boy. Well... Uh, I don't think I want to give her anything. Yeah. Look at this! <laughs> e. 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 Excuse me, but I'm a witness? Police witness. You understand? How could I possibly give you any information in good consciousness, hmm? Me, the witness. It's just like in the movies. God, she plays dumb really good. <laughs> You have no idea how hard it is to voice this. I'm sorry. No, no, it's fine. I actually am having a little bit of fun because it's pushing my acting. I can totally play the dumb character at the same time I'm going, I want to slap her. <laughs> uh, I don't really have anything else to say to you. I don't think anyone wants to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Some people might want to. Hmm. Seems like Mr. Grossberg is out. Well, maybe I should just wait here for him to wait, him, wait here for him to come back. <clears throat> if that wasn't the most over-the-top clearing of the so throat I've, I've ever heard. heard. <laughs> <laughs> so you're the one they say has been look has been looking for me. Grumble, 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 grumble. Where's your pipe, man? Um, yes, that's me. He looks even grander than I imagined. What's with the mustache? I actually kind of like it. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> That badge on your collar. <laughs> ah, so you're a lawyer, are you? Y yes, well, yes. <laughs> and what do you want? I'm not particularly busy these days. Please proceed. Not busy? Then how come no one can get in touch, touch with you? you? <laughs> um, something the matter. You came to see the one and only Marvin Grossberg, did you not? Well, here I am, boy. 
What do you want? Out with it! Um, well, sir, actually, it's about Maya. Maya Faye? Well, that's a change. Uh, yes. Maya Faye. Go on. Why the strange reaction? Acha-cha! Acha-cha? I'm really quite busy here, son. Oh. I can't go taking cases on a day's notice. No, it's quite impossible. W wait a second. How did you know the trial was tomorrow? <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, anyway. Done, I'm afraid it's entirely impossible for me to represent her. Sorry, end of discussion. What's going on? He refused me before I even got a chance to ask him. What do I tell Maya? Jamming out to the music? It's kind of jazzy, almost. Oh. It's not what I expected. Here, listen to this. Alright, I'll listen. I mean, it's, it's, it's interesting. Let's see. Oh, wow. I kind of like it. I kind of like it, too. Definitely not what I was expecting. No, it's, it's nice. And it's very simple. It is. It's got a nice flow to it. <laughs> she just jams out. I'm done. I'm just doing a slow, like, almost salsa in the chair. I mean, you can kind of get away with it. <laughs> yeah, you can. I like it. <laughs> um. Uh, you refusal? How can you refuse like that? Please tell me why you won't take the case. Hmm? Uh, <clears throat> well, you see, I'm just... I'm just busy, you see. But the... But the client is Maya Fey's sister. <clears throat> uh, Maya trusted you. She knew her sister would be in good... Up! Oh, ah, wrong person! Maya trusted you. She knew her sister would be in good hands. Yes, yes, of course. I, I know that. However, I'm sorry, but I, I must refuse. Sorry. Goodbye! Run away! Creep. Fine. I don't have time to argue with you anyway. I'll go look elsewhere. Think not. Huh? Did you say something? I think not, I said. What do you mean? I'm terribly, terribly sorry. But I'm afraid that no lawyer worth their salt will take on this particular case. Terribly sorry, my boy. Why? I cannot say. I beg your pardon, but could you leave now? I have nothing more to discuss with you. What's going on here? I'm not leaving. I'm just going to keep pressing you. How did you know Mia Faye? She worked here a long time ago. Quite the apprentice, that one. Learned my techniques in the blink of an eye. She left one day quite suddenly. She had a mission, you see. A mission? You could see it in her eyes. I don't know why you're slowly becoming Scottish! Okay, thank you! I was hearing it in your voice and I'm like, I don't want to say anything. I don't you're want to slowly throw becoming off. Scottish! I don't want to throw her off, but I'm picking up a Scottish accent you're here. slowly becoming... I think it's because... I don't know. I was gonna... <laughs> I was gonna say the, the moustache, but then the more I thought of that, that made no sense. Moustache. <laughs> I mean... I don't know. <laughs> Is it because of my boy and all this? I think it was the my boy that did actually throw me off. And the fact he looks like a giant cat. I don't know why. <laughs> why would that make him Scottish? Oh, no, Scottish kitten. <laughs> I don't know. What the heck? <laughs> she followed it with a burning passion. Never looked back that one. Why am I so interested in this stupid painting? Because it's bothered you since he got in. The oil is, like, so thick. That's true. That's quite a painting. Ha <laughs> ha, you noticed. 
It's my pride and joy. Impressive, isn't it? Well, isn't it? The color of the sky, the hue of the sea, the wave of the straw hat. There's a sea? It looks like it's in, like, the savanna. The or... weave of the straw hat? Yeah, there's, he's wearing a straw hat. There's a, yeah, you're right. Where's the sea? I'm like, it look, I thought it was taking, like, you know, savanna in Africa, that sort of deal. It's worth at least three million. I have no intention of parting with it, of course. No, I won't sell it. Not even to you. Uh, I wasn't interested. It's not for sale. I'm not buying. Jeez. I'm going to show you this because you forgot how to use it. Very sorry, but I've got nothing to say regarding that matter. Ah, uh, well, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you even care about this? <laughs> Apparently not. Well, since you like art so much. Oh, wow. Wow, you're, you're just useless to me now, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, where are we going? Oh, yeah, what was the point of me even meeting you? <laughs> uh... Yeah, I think here, because now I can tell her that he said new. To tell him you always came to the right place when it goes I mean, I'm the pretty time sure, and day. I'm pretty sure I know why. And I think it's because I of Miles. Mm, no, it actually isn't. Oh, it's not? Okay, it's not I, because then, of Miles. I, then I remember. I thought it would be because of Miles. Oh, nobody, no, I remember why. Nobody wants to go up against Miles. Oh, my memory's coming back for this game. <laughs> Hi, uh... Oh, you're back! Did you find the lawyer? Um, well, what do I tell her? Well, you see, just be honest. I, I really don't think you should use that guy. He didn't... Oh, oh he didn't seem healthy. He was all skin and bones. <laughs> That's a lie. That's the biggest lie I've ever told. What really happened? You didn't mean he refused to help? Uh. I see. I've been abandoned then. Over my dead body! What about your family? I only had my sister. My father died when I was very young. And I don't know where my mother is. I don't know, so she could still be alive? Your mom. The women in my family have been mediums for generations. They say a lot of spiritual power runs in our blood. About 15 years ago, our family was involved in an incident. There was a man, and he... he... He ruined our mother's life! Ruined? After that, she disappeared. Several years after that, my sister announced she would become a lawyer, and she left the mountain. So, you live by yourself? Yes, I've gotten used to it. Oh, also, I had to become independent, or I would lose my powers. I feel bad for her, by herself, up on that mountain. So... Who is this man who, um, ruined your mother? About 15 years ago, there was an unusual murder case. It made quite a stir. Everyone was talking about it, apparently. The police were running out of leads, and they were getting desperate. Wait. They didn't use a spirit medium, did they? The police convinced my mother to try to contact the victim. Wow. So that's what happened? The case was solved, we thought. You thought? The man my mother helped the police capture was innocent. Uh? The police, cons the police, the police consultation yeah, with the medium had, been, had all been carried out in secret, of course. But a man found out about it and leaked it to the press. He told all the papers that my mother was a fraud, and the media jumped on it big time. She, my mother, became the laughing stock of the nation. I see. 
white. Excuse me? White? That was his name. My sister told me. White? Hmm. Just a little longer now before the state-appointed lawyer comes, I guess. 4 p.m. Time's up. What should I do? We just leave her and go home? As if there's an option. <laughs> I've made up my mind. I'm gonna defend you whether you want me to or not. Huh? Why? Why? Well, let's see. I can't abandon you. Someone else is the culprit. I don't know why. <laughs> um... I mean, those two are true. They're both true. Top choice. Well, I'm trying to think of how Phoenix would perceive things, and based on a lot of knowledge of the games, <laughs> number two is very much something he would say. Well, I mean, we already know that she didn't do it because we saw it in the cutscene at the very beginning of, the, of this chapter. Well, yeah, but Phoenix didn't. <laughs> I know. Outside knowledge. And I mean, I'm pretty sure he knows that she didn't do it. I mean, it's kind of obvious. Yeah. Like, you saw her okay, crying. It's not obvious. Well, I mean, like, she was crying over her sister's body. I mean, you could fake that, but... I mean, why... Uh, well, you'd better off leaving at that point. I don't well, know. There, are, there have been crimes of passion. And considering the body has been found still warm. Yeah. I don't know. Um. Yeah, I'm, I'm just not gonna abandon her, because I feel bad. She's all by herself. No one is as sad as a person without any friends. I know. I've been there a long time ago. Aha! Why did I become a lawyer in the first place? Because someone has to look out for the people who have no one on their side. Maya, I won't abandon you. You can count on me. That's so kind of you. Well, let's fight this one and get you out of here. Right! Thank you! Phew! She smiled at least. Er, she smiled at last. She looks like an entirely different person. One last question. But You are innocent, right? I mean, that's a fair question. Yes! And I trust you. That's actually good that I now have somebody who will say this as opposed to what Larry said when I tried defending him. Oh dear. <laughs> So you, so you trust me too, okay? It's a deal. So what next? There's something that's been bugging me though. Just what was inside that strange woman's drawer? It was when I tried to look into the drawer that she got all defensive. There has to be something in there. Now can I present this and give, like, she knows anything about it now? Oh, the phone. Oh, yeah, the phone. That's actually a good idea. There you go. Oh, wrong button. Try this button. Hey, I got your cell phone back. Oh, say. Can I listen to my sister's voice? Maya's eyes closed. She listened to every word with such intensity. Before long, tears began to roll down her cheeks. Thank you. I'm not gonna show her anything else. I have learned my lesson. Wait, what about the glass? I'm just curious. This was laying next to the chief's body. I saw that too. They said they thought these were pieces of a broken light stand. Yeah, that seems about right. Well, I never heard of gla of a glass light stand before this. Uh, 
Okay. So I don't actually know what that is. This guard monitors the visitor's room. He hasn't moved an inch. A real pro, this guy. <laughs> Have you think about trying out for the, uh, in London? <laughs> Smile for the camera. Uh, party har har har. I'm pretty sure that's it. Because if I remember it, that was all there was when... Yeah. Okay. Move. Uh, let's see if she's still there. Oh. Good afternoon, sir. Excuse me? You are... Oh, I beg your pardon, sir. I'm the bellboy of this establishment at your service, sir. Oh, right. I've just come up to deliver room service, sir. Um, do you know where Miss May might be? Ah, uh, I believe our guest Miss May is currently using the, er, uh, facilities? If you've no need of anything, I'll be taking my leave. Does that mean she's in the bathroom? <laughs> Pool. Please, stay as long as you like. Enjoy. Yeah. Wait, no, hey! And he's gone. <laughs> Why does it seem like every time I come here, I end up embarrassing myself? Wait, now somebody has to snoop around a bit. Ah, I almost forgot. <laughs> ah! You, you came back quick! Might I ask you to inform Miss May that there is a message for her? Please tell her that Mr. White of Blue Corp phoned. Oh, right. Sure. Uh, Mr. White of uh, Blue Corp. Where have I heard that name? White. That was his name. My sister told me. White? Was the name of the guy who ruined Mia and Maya's mother? Could it be a coincidence? Alright, time to steal this. There's a screwdriver sticking out of that half open drawer. Now is my chance to see what's inside. What do we have here? A wiretap? Hmm. What would a woman like her be doing with a thing like this? There's definitely something suspicious about Miss May. Why would she have something like this in her hotel room? There's a story behind all this, I know it. Alright. I'll be using this bit of evidence in tomorrow's trial, that's for sure. For Maya's sake. I'll get this woman's bottom- wait! I mean, you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, bellboy, still there? Uh-oh. Time to scram! I look forward to tangoing with you tomorrow, Miss May. In court. To be continued. Phoenix, Phoenix, my my friend, buddy. My my my, my, my man. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> hear what you are saying. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess I'll end it here for now. This is Kid from Kid Plays and Hono Kami. Thanks, hope you guys all had fun, and also check out Opium Pulses for cheap games, just because, you know, they're awesome. <laughs> see, yes, they are. See you later. Bye! I don't know why I just waved at nothing. <laughs> <laughs> because you could. <laughs> Fair enough. And that did save, right? Yep, trial two. Okay.